Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gent Sense. It's fragrance clone haul time. <laughs> Keeping up with the clones is. That's what I should call each time that I get in a whole bunch of clone fragrances. Keeping up with the clones is. So these are from Montagna Parfums, and I've got six of them here that I think are probably some of the ones that people are gonna want the most. And I'm gonna open them up and see if these are any good. I'll have the website link below. Feel free to check them out down there. It's got them all lined up right here, looking nice and pretty. They run 40 bones each, so $40 each on the website. And look at this. They included some tester strips in the order, which is just fantastic. So what six do we have here? Well, we have uh, Enigmatic Exclusif. If you guys have never checked out uh, their website, I need you to play along and guess what these are. Don't cheat and go in and look. What would Enigmatic Exclusive be? Next one, Buco Intense. Buco? Bucco? Buco. Tiger Cologne. <laughs> it's, uh, well, it's a pretty easy one. Vani Fraiche. Hmm, that could be a lot of things. Elysian Cologne. And last but not least, <laughs> Torino 2021. If you don't know that one, that's okay, I forgive you. Just You'll learn, you'll pick it up, you'll get it. So these are 50 mils each, and they cost 40 doll hairs uh, on the website. I have never smelled anything from this brand, from this house. So I don't know like what level of quality we're dealing with here. We are doing this together for the first time, you and I. So let's uh, take it gentle, easy, and slow. Let's start with that one. Vinny Fresh. Vinny Fresh it is. All of you, wait your turn, go up to the side. So uh, on the front of the box here, you'll notice it has a little bit of like a Le Labo-esque kind of vibe going on. You have the name of the fragrance house, the name of the fragrance. You have uh, the ingredients there as well, the notes. Vinny Fresh, bergamot, vanilla, sandalwood. That's a hint. What could it be? Eau de Parfum 50 ml spray. It's uh, sealed right here. So we're going to have to Crack this open. Skizzers. There we go. Open it up. Ah. It's got the little fragrance bottle sitting down inside there and a little tissue paper. So you have the name of the uh, fragrance, name of the house, and the notes right here on the front. Handcrafted in NYC Eau de Parfum 50 ml. It's like a little apothecary bottle kind of style going on. Let's spray it. <laughs> Let's see how it is. Since I have, pretty good atomizer, since I have six of them, I'm just gonna be using the strips. That's pretty good. Does that have cardamom listed on here? Oh, should have cardamom. Bergamot, vanilla, sandalwood, put cardamom on there. Just stick it, stick it right on there. Interesting name, Vanille Fraiche, because if you you don't know anything, you would just see that and be like, well, it's fresh, so it's gotta be like a summertime fragrance, a vanilla summertime fragrance, some Layton, yeah, Layton. Interestingly enough, when you look at the note breakdown of this on their website, it, it doesn't have cardamom listed on there. So even though I was saying that they should put cardamom on the front, because that is a big note in Layton, it's not on their official note breakdown for this fragrance uh, itself. This does give you those Layton vibes, so that warm, sweet spice, that nice apple off the top. Really well done uh, version of PDM Layton here. So I'm gonna do this one. A, a, a spray or two on skin. I'm already wearing a fragrance today, so I can't wear all of these right now, but just to see you know, how the carryover is from tester strip to skin, and then we'll do these other ones. Because sometimes it'll smell really nice on a strip, uh, but then you spray it on skin or vice versa, and it's, it's just not there. You know, it's got a funkiness to it or something. It just doesn't carry over as well. It's like Layton with a, a twist. Layton with like a carbonated soda twist. Kind of dig that. That's cool. Let's keep it moving. Uh, next up, Tiger Cologne. Tiger Cologne. Ow! Uh, so this one, Grapefruit, Ambroxan, and Woody Notes are the uh, notes on the front here. Since the presentation just looks the same, I'm gonna kind of skip on through that so that we don't take as much time uh, with these other ones looking at the presentation and everything uh, because that would be redundant. But as you can see, open it up. Oh, there's the fragrance, there's the tissue paper, the same stuff on the front there. Ambroxan, Grapefruit, Woody. Tiger Cologne handcrafted in NYC. So this one, a uh, lot easier to guess what it is if you haven't already cheated. Uh, that one, Vinny Fresh, that one not easy to guess. This one, it's in the name. Ooh. That's super pleasant. 
I just turned into like a creepy guy on a 900, you know, hotline. But that grapefruit comes through really nicely here. It's got like mm, that like candied sweetness underneath it, that warmth. I like that one more. Mm, I'm just like sticking it all the way up my nose. Just <coughs> don't do that. So that's a uh, Bulgari Tiger, in case you didn't know. Can't see what's up next. Uh, we'll just pick a random one. Buco Intense. Notes of coconut, lime, rum, sugar cane, and musk. This one has a silver top. I think the other one had a gold one, right? Yeah, they both did. So that Virgin Island water hits you straight away. Immediately can tell what it is, no doubt at all. I would have taken that on vacation with me if I had it before I went on vacation. So it has that, that rum, that coconut, that tropical sort of sweetness with that little bit of saltiness over the top. Almost edible. It, it really is. It's like a tropical cocktail through and through. This is the intense version. I also saw a regular version on there. I haven't smelled the other, so get the intense. Yeah, we're, we're cooking with gas here. This is nice. Torino 2021. Now this one I'm pumped about. I should have a knife down here. What is this? So unprepared. Yeah, so Zerzov has Torino 21, which is a personal big time favorite of mine for spring and summertime. Great, great, great. A green fragrance, wonderful citrus, really high quality. Uh, so this has mint, lemon, basil, musk, black currant, and lavender. They're really putting a lot of notes on that one. If, if they pull this one off, uh, this is the one that I'm most excited for. So uh, let's, let's check it out. Extremely lively. It's got like a, a nice sparkle to it. I think it's a little bit greener, maybe not quite as much citrus as uh, Torino 21. Ooh, it smells good though. I'm gonna go ahead and blast this on. Uh, skin here. Heck with it. Ooh, that's way better off skin. Get out of here, loser. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. The mint is still strong. The green is still there. Almost a touch of salt. So I'll tell you what, this is like Torino 21 with the mint ramped way up. So it's got a lot of that green mint, very fresh, brisk, clean. The citrus in here smells very good as well. I still think that these are a little bit closer to what they're inspired by than this one, but this is a really nice take. Enigmatic Exclusif. And we open, and there it is. So Enigmatic Exclusif, any guesses, any guesses? It's supposed to be Enigma, so we'll see. Or creation E, depending on where you are. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Kind of root beer deal going on. That, that sweet root beer, cognac, spices. Pretty close to nailed it. For that price point, that's gonna be about as good as you're gonna get, I think. Really nice. Elysian Cologne. So another easy one. This is uh, supposed to be Elysium Parfum Cologne. So I gotta see which one of these Rajas is better, the uh, Elysium or the Enigma. So there we go. So it's really nice. It has that same kind of, you know, juniper, fizzy sort of a uh, fresh gin opening that Elysium has. Nice citrus, very clean, easy to wear. Grapefruit, lime, vetiver, blackcurrant musk. Yeah, it's pretty much right, right there. Clean, musky, clean woods, citrus. Yeah. It smells like Elysium Parfum Cologne, very close. Like the scent profile is there. It's just like the, the body is not quite as full as Elysium, which is what you would expect. You know, that's not really a bad thing. It's just kind of, um, is what it is. That sparkle, that root beer is kind of like fading back. And I wish it lingered a little longer, but it, it is kind of coming into that spice and cognac more. Between the two Rajas, you know, maybe I go in enigmatic. Maybe that one. Torino is way better off skin. Yeah, that tester strip. A lot of mint. Smells fantastic. Springtime killer. Man, these first two were banging. Uh, obviously, first impressions. I haven't been able to wear any of these <laughs> other than the two I just sprayed on my skin uh, during the video. So I can't tell you guys about longevity, projection, anything like that. I can just tell you, uh, you know, the quality versus the price points. 40 bucks across the board here, 50 mils each. Again, all these off tester strips other than two of them. I think overall, really, really good stuff. I would absolutely check out uh, more of what they have, especially some of the ones that I haven't seen cloned as much. You know, some of the ones that are a little bit more under the radar, like Torino 21. Lovely quality for the price point here. Uh, it's a little bit bare bones on the presentation itself, but you know, let that slide, uh, all things considered. And I think these smell really good. So I'll try to wear these and maybe do like a review on, on some of them 
uh, standalone, maybe like the Torino over here, or if you prefer one of the others, let me know in the comments below or one on the website uh, that I didn't get and maybe I can, you know, scoop that one up and, and do a review on it or something if there's like one that's really super banging that you guys know about. I just got in some of the ones here that seem to be uh, a little more on the popular side and also some that I hadn't seen uh, cloned quite as much like this one, the Enigmatic Exclusive and the Torino, so. All right, that'll do it for me. Again, linked in the description below. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.